obtain the z transform of hyperbolic function cos h and theta and sin h and theta this to a hyperbolic function okay now solution solve one by one first one so we know the first standard formula we have standard formula cos h x is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 this is standard formula now taking this one first one so cos h n theta okay that means e raised to n theta plus e raised to minus n theta divided by 2 or 1 by 2 into e raised to theta whole raised to n plus e raised to minus theta whole raised to n you make a arrangement now taking z transform on both side so 1 by 2 into z transform of e raised to theta is to n plus z transform e raised to minus theta whole raised to n okay now we have we have z transform of k raised to n is z upon z minus k same using this one uh, 1 by 2 into the first one is this is a k raised to n k means what e raised to theta z upon z minus k means e raised to theta plus second one z upon z minus e raised to minus theta so z is common take outside uh, z by 2 inside is 1 upon z minus e raised to theta plus 1 upon z minus e raised to minus theta and this is equal to z by 2 multiplication take LCM uh, z minus e raised to minus theta this one is plus z minus e raised to theta divided by z into z is a z square z into minus e raised to minus theta and z, this z into minus e raised to theta is a minus z is a common e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta now e raised to theta into e raised to minus theta is 1 plus 1 minus into minus plus it's like this e raised to theta into e raised to minus theta is equal to 1 and one more is a e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by 2 is a cos hx and this is equal to z by 2 z by 2 and z 2 times z minus take minus e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta divided by z square minus z into e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta plus 1 now see e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta means e raised to x plus e raised to minus x this is cross multiplying 2 into cos hx, hx. The next step is very simple z transform of cos h and theta is equal to z by 2 into uh, 2z minus 2 cos h theta divided by z square minus 2z cos h theta plus 1 now take 2 common and this 2 is a cancel therefore z transform of cos h and theta is equal to z into z minus cos h theta hyperbolic function divided by z square minus 2z cos h theta plus 1 the first one is over now second one ok so we have one more standard formula 
sin h x hyperbolic function e raise to x minus e raise to minus x divided by 2 and this one is a sin h n theta so using this formula e raise to n theta minus e raise to minus n theta divided by 2 or 1 by 2 separate and bracket e raise to n theta sorry minus e raise to minus n theta okay now using uh, both sides z transform z transform of sin h n theta hyperbolic function 1 by 2 into z transform e raise to theta and this is whole raise to n we make arrangement minus z transform of e raise to minus theta whole raise to n okay we have formula z transform of k raise to n is z upon z minus k k means e raise to theta k means e raise to minus theta this is equal to 1 by 2 into z upon z minus e raise to theta minus sin z upon z minus e raise to minus theta this is equal to z is a common take outside z by 2 inside 1 upon z minus e raise to theta minus 1 upon z minus e raise to minus theta okay z by 2 cross multiplication take lcm and this is multiplication z minus e raise to minus theta this is a minus sign and multiplication so minus z minus minus plus plus e raise to theta divided by z into z is a z square z into minus e raise to minus i theta and z into minus e raise to theta means z is a common e raise to theta plus e raise to minus theta e raise to minus uh, sorry, e raise to theta into e raise to minus theta is a plus one minus into minus plus it's like this base is the same okay now z by 2 now one z is cancelled plus minus get cancelled and the remaining uh, e raise to theta first write positive term and minus e raise to minus theta divided by z square minus z into e raise to theta plus e raise to minus theta plus 1 and you know the standard formula e raise to x plus e raise to minus x divided by 2 is equal to cos hx and e raise to minus e raise to x minus e raise to minus x by 2 is equal to sin hx z by 2 and this part is cross 2 is a cross multiply and 2 sin h theta divided by z square minus this part is a 2 is cross multiply 2 z cos h theta plus 1 this is z transform of sin h n theta this is required sorry one more step is there 2 is a cancel 2 to cancel and finally z into sin h theta divided by z square minus 2 z cos h theta plus 1 this is a required solution